and welcome back again to my YouTube. Yes, this is the Me Dion. The Me Dion, which is a diary of Leonardo da Vinci's works. It is Jesus Christ proposing to the older Mona Lisa. She is absolutely gorgeous. Take a look at that beautiful woman. Okay, she is the older, more mature woman. This is the young Mona Lisa. This is the older Mona Lisa. Well, I've been telling the world, and the world has been following very, very well, and I thank you for all your subscriptions and your kindness. And I want to thank YouTube tremendously for standing behind me and believing me. I, I really love their YouTube kids, and I hope you guys subscribe to them. Listen, I have a lots and lots of finds and a lot, a lot, a lot of YouTubes. Just Google me, Dion Passion, with an M-I and then D-I-O-N and then Passion, all one word, and you'll find it under the playlist, you'll find it under the videos, and you'll find it under my subscription. And I'm going to tell you that you're going to see what uh, is amazing. It's another, it's another piece of uh, fine work. So I'm going to put this off to the side and we're going to get right to it. Now don't forget, at the end of this video and in the beginning of the video, it gives you the um, highlights that you're, you're going to be looking for. But this is the x-ray. This is the x-ray of my Medion. That is right in here. Well, in here we're going to be uh, concentrating on the clown and, and the um, I call it the Statue of Liberty, and I also call this the Buffalo Man. We're going to get into uh, a little bit of that, and this is just to let you know on a large uh, scale. But I already have a preset such as this, this image here, to make it much easier for you. But let's get walked through to it. So I want to put the MIDI on off the side, which is also, like I said, a will is in this also. So you got a will, you got a diary, and you have a registry. And for when he passed, his loved ones passed it on. Now in here, we're going to get to where I'm going to show you the clown. I'm going to also show you where the buffalo guy, the buffalo is going to go here. That horn is going to be here, and then the clown is going to be here, and he shifts gets bigger and bigger and bigger, goes along with the stairs. How I pegged this, this is one of his deals, is he's got the V. And the V in mine uh, is quite um, into uh, Leo's um, hidden works in the x-ray, as you can see, the V. And he gets a V in here. And so it, it led me to this image. And what led me to this image is that everything's more... Um, open to where he less hidden it or I am fortunate to where they uh, shot it and it was available to me to see but I've had this in my works for years and then just had the opportunity to pull it now let me show you when I grab this we're going to get into um, a little bit of uh, the coloring and I'm gonna again give you a little run down real quick and we're going to talk about we're going to be talking about this area right here which is the the uh this 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 image in here has the smiling face which is going to be this image right here again the smiling face Okay, it's going to be in there. So we're going to get into that, and we're going to get into this tuba. As you see this tuba right here, with this little doodad here, and the man comes across. He's got four legs, and there's a man up in here. Well, you've got a tuba when this thing overlays. It is right here. There's, there's, there's the roundness right in the middle, this, this little black dot gives you a lineup. I'm going to show you that. And then you're going to see that when this also lines up in here with the with the man coming up in here, you're going to see that this uh, Statue of Liberty fits in these circles here. They fit in this circle. They fit in this circle. They fit in this circle. 
and continues because he makes it go woo, okay, that way. So I have something to show you and it's for you to see. Now we're gonna zoom in on when it gets to the end. So we're gonna put this off to the side and I'm gonna show you that same image that I just showed you. In one of the transfers, you get nothing practically of what we're just seeing because there's thousands of layers he has hidden. But he's spelling love. Here's, here's for an example. Here's an L, do you see it? An L. Here's another L, because he's constantly spelling love. And here's another L. Now, in between all these L's are are white. So there's an L in the white, and, and, and it keeps going. You can see these L's. Now, he goes like this. Here's a circle. Here's another circle. Here's another circle. Okay? So he. we all know when you go to spell love, you can go like this. Okay, and then you have your V. So if you take a look, he has his V. So you got L O O O because he's always writing over. So he has a, a V here. He has a V in the white. He has another V. And he has another V in the white. See how many times he writes it? He's constantly writing love. Now over here, he does an E. If you can see, there's an E that runs like this. Okay, and then there's another E that runs like this. And then he has an E that goes sideways that's in here. He got a big E. He's got a big E that runs across here. That runs, whoops, that runs up. And he does these, these wild little E's over here. He continues. There's an E off the page. Let's see if I can, whoops. Let's see if I can uh, open that up, whoops. Well, there's an E off the page. He can love off the page. <laughs> okay, so this is Leo's love, L-O-V-E. You understand? Okay, so this is another layer of hidden works of Leo that we're that's, we're not even getting into, in, in, in a sense. Okay. And what is this? This is another transfer. As you can see, there's a V here. There's an L here. And guess where the O is? Ha, ha, ha. You guessed it. There's a big O right right here. Okay? He's got it right there. He he covers it. Okay? And then okay, so he's got L O V and you can even see the E here. You see the E? Big E. So I'm just going to make this a a plain simple one for you. But he he continues because here's a big L. Okay? Here's a big O for the big L. Here's a big V. Okay, and he has a big E right here. Okay, and he even gets bigger because here's a big L and here's a big E in reverse. Now, that is another one of Leo's trick. Okay, so we're going to put this down. That Now, that's a code, if you believe it or not. Now, in this particular one here, this one particular here, is what he has which doesn't mark so I can't do it he has my man smiley face this smiley face in which we were talking about so this smiley face with the little doodad pointy hat which is a him and is this guy right here this tuba guy is right over here right in here in this this area well, the other image that's behind this green image is going to show it much better. But you see these little circles that I told you about for the Statue of Liberty? Well, again, they're in here because he makes it move across. So I'm going to put this down. And now we're getting to the main. The one you've been waiting for. Get to the point, Alan. Yes. Okay. It's basically the first one, what we were doing. But when I take this without going into all the little markings and I overlay the statue, you can see how it has a little circle. You can see it's very difficult 
you can see the smiling face. Here's the little face. So I'm going to mark. I'm going to mark this face. The smile. Oh. I don't know if you can see that. See that smiling face right there that I marked right there. Okay, now we're going to take the smiling face, which is right here. And I'm going to overlay the two. There you go. Perfect. A perfect match. Now you can see this tuba guy. See the horn right there? And then I'm going to take this tuba guy, when you go to put it up, you can see how this tuba guy floats here, here, here. He moves it. He'll move it this way. He'll move it this way. You move it anyway, even this way, and you will move it. Guess what? 360 degrees. Absolute. So, when I take this again and go back up to letting you know of Leonardo da Vinci's works, and I know it sounds kind of odd, you have to shift it because he makes all his works move. See how it fits in the hole? You can see how the statue fits in the circle, and you can see how the smiling face floats and keeps going. So you've got a pointy hat, and then you've got a pointy hat that, that goes like this. you got another pointy hat that goes even higher. Sorry about my arthritis. And then you have another one, he even goes bigger. He makes these images go bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So then when you overlay it again, it will shift and keep going up and up and up and bigger and bigger and bigger. See, it just keeps going. See, he even lines up in the circles from, from here. From here, it shifts up higher and higher and higher up in the stairs. Now, I am the messenger. Okay, so the messenger is me, Alan Cook. I've been doing this for some time for those who've been following, and I want to say that if I can do anything for you, I would. Now, I need this to go viral. I need I need uh, subscribers and I need thumbs up. I need you guys to communicate with YouTube somehow. Write in a comment, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I need everything done for this for this image because this actually spells out Leonardo itself right in front of you, and I've I discussed it. Also discuss it to where that this image. Uh, is um, um, uh, has his name of his lovers. So this is an M, F, and here's a big L, and then it has the E, the O, and a slash N, and then he has an A, an R, a D, an O, and he spells this out. And he does the same over here. I have a YouTube that he's done it in, in the Mona, but remember. Um, I love you guys, and I thank you again. So what I want you to do is to uh, hit the YouTube Kids program. It's not associated with us in any way, but it is uh, associated with my feelings of uh, protecting your children, if I if I may have the right to uh, um, give you some advice on that, because you know they're precious. And with that, I want to also say, uh, may God uh, no. Would you wash your hands, social distance, and wear a mask? And may God bless the whole world, the universe, and the heavens. Uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, and let's get this pushed 
watch out because I'm going up to well over 100 proofs on this. This is going to be proof number 13. I do have a recommendation on proof number 7 and number 12. Study it. You will see probably at least a half a dozen or more images that when I overlay them that actually fit better than a puzzle. And again, say your prayers and may God bless you all. Thank you for watching. Catch you again. Amen.